Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about the Queen's Thief series by Megan Whalen Turner, aka my favorite series of all time. And here's my beautifully mismatched set because I own all different kinds of editions. Now, one thing that's hard about this series is that there are huge spoilers for basically everything. Like, you can't even read the um, summary on the inside flap of book three without it spoiling the first two books. So with that in mind, I'm going to give you a summary of the first book and then just promise that it ke keeps getting better from there. So there are five books in this series. Um, the last one came out last week. I received it in the mail on Saturday and I've already read it twice because I love these books and I'm obsessed with them. The first book is called The Thief and it's about a thief named Jen who is um, captured and put into prison in the King of Sunnis' prison. And um, then the king's advisor needs a thief to steal something, and he asks, well, strongly persuades Jen to steal it for him. And that is pretty much all I'm going to say, because this is a series of books that is really better if you don't know what you're getting into. I just promise that it's good. Um, so first it's The Thief, followed by The Queen of Atolia, The King of Atolia, my personal favorite, A Conspiracy of Kings, and the most recent edition, Thick as Thieves. And she is writing another book, but who knows when it will be out. So this series of books is set in a fantasy world that is heavily influenced by um, the Mediterranean, especially Greece. Um, it is not a retelling of re Greek myths. It doesn't have anything to do with Greek myths, but you know the feeling that you get when you're reading Greek myths? It has that same feeling, even though it is not based on any Greek myth or anything like that. It just has some parallels and some similarities and, and she was obviously very inspired by ancient Greece. So I love these books a ridiculous amount. I'm going to try to be articulate today but I'm not going to be because I'm just going to end up gushing about how much I love them. So I'm going to give you five reasons why you should read this series. Reason number one. Megan Whalen Turner or MWT as, as I call her because that's kind of a mouthful is a fantastic writer. And I know that I comment on pretty writing all the time and maybe people don't care about that as much as I do, but it's not just that like, it's, it's not that her writing is pretty, although it is, and it's not that it's compelling, although it is, it's that Megan Whalen Turner always has every word in a just the right place. Have you ever read a book and thought, wow, that line of dialogue really didn't sound right or wow, that word should have been changed? I never think that while I'm reading her books. She takes a really long time to write them. Um, book four was published in 2010 and book five was published in 2017. But I think it just takes that long in order to get each word, and I mean each individual word in the book, to be perfect because that's how good these books are. Her writing is, I consider it absolutely flawless. Reason number two is that not only is her writing fantastic, her characters and her plot are fantastic too because this is just the series that has it all. Her characters are, I, I, I don't have words to explain how much I love them and how much I care about them. And yes, part of that is because I have read this series dozens of times, but it's, it's, her characters feel like real people. It almost feels like you are reading his, uh, like history about people who really lived because they are so realistic. And even in some of the more fantastical elements of this series, because it is fantasy, Everything just rings so true. And her plots are unbelievable. Like I said before, it's really hard to talk about this series without giving out spoilers because there's so many things to spoil. Every book has a twist and every book, it's amazing because she tells you exactly what's going to happen and you just miss it. It goes over your head. I, I can't even tell you how many clues she hides in the story about what the big reveal is going to be. And then you get to the end and you think, how did I miss it? It was all in front of me. She always puts it in plain sight. But she is so good and she is so subtle that you don't even realize it until you're reading it for the third or fourth time. So she has great writing. She has great characters. She has great plot. Reason number three that I love this series so much is because it really celebrates storytelling and an oral culture. Storytelling is very important within these books and every book has... Um, different characters telling stories or reciting poetry and yes the stories always tie back to 
um, the book itself, and there's lots of symbolism and hidden meanings that you figure out as you read. But I just, I love the culture of storytelling that is so prevalent in these novels. Every single book features it in different ways, and it is something that I look forward to every time I read these. Reason number four that I love this series more than any other series in the world is because Megan Whalen Turner never takes the easy way out. I find that young adult fiction can frequently be very simplified or very convenient, and I would never, never use the word simplified or convenient to describe this series. Megan Whalen Turner is not afraid to make very serious decisions, very serious and permanent decisions in her books that I feel like other series are not willing to take. And I think a good example of this is when the author kills someone off at the beginning of the book and then at the end they were alive the whole time and, you know, you thought that it was, wow, the author man killed one of the main characters, what are the chances of that happening? And then at the end you're like, just kidding, they were alive the whole time, got you. Um, she doesn't do that. Or another, another one that is very common in children's and young adult books, for good reason, is, you know, they're fighting a war and there's like five main characters and all of them survive the whole book. That's not really realistic, but Megan Whalen Turner is not like that. She is always willing to um, make difficult but realistic decisions within her books, and I appreciate that honesty so much, I can't even tell you. Reason number five that I love this series is probably not a surprise, but it's because they reread so well. Now, if you've been um, looking at my channel for more than five minutes, you probably know that I love to reread books. It's one of my favorite things to do. And this series especially, I have read so many times. I've read The King of Atolia at least 17 times, and I'm not exaggerating, that's actually true. Every time I read them, I discover some other detail that connects to something else, and I'm talking across books. I This is the most recent book, and I just read it. There are connections to the first book. There are details that I never noticed in the first book that are suddenly important in the light of this book. Um, I got this book on Saturday, and I've already read it twice. I think that that pretty much says how much I love to reread these books. But I I feel sorry for people who only read this series one time, because it grows so much, it improves so much while you're rereading and you're seeing, oh look, there's a detail that she set up for the end. Oh look, there's a detail that I hadn't noticed but it connects to book two. And yes, maybe I notice a lot of those because I'm just obsessed with this series, but the way that they improve upon rereading is one of my favorite things about them and it's one of the reasons I know that I'm going to continue loving this series for the rest of my life. Okay, I could talk about this series all day, but I'm going to stop now so that you can do yourself a favor and get a copy to read. Um, if you've read this series, please let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to talk about it with you because it is my favorite. Um, if you haven't read it, go read it and then come back and talk to me about it because I really want to talk to people about it because it's my favorite series. Okay, see you next time. Bye!